obviously one game of film on, on Mike White, the Jets uh, starter for Sunday. Right. For a guy like that who, you know, limited tape but gets the ball very quick, what do you guys have to do up front to be successful? Against him? Yeah, you just got to stick to our key, rush the quarterback, get their hands off us up front, and uh, just get after them. You know, we'll take care of business, you know. So just, just got to do what we do, get their hands off, be uh, violent with our hands, and keep the old lineman hands off us and go rush. Uh, like I say, like you, you don't have much to watch on him, but he a playmaker. When he get in the game, you can definitely tell. So he's just a playmaker, you know. And our defense, we got a good defense, so we gotta minimize him and try to give our offense a fighting chance, you know. Obviously, bad news about Justin today. Right. Uh, you look around the room, mm -hmm. and you know you lose a guy like that. What's what's the reaction? And is it just taking it on all of yourself as a group to step up to replace him? Yeah, you know, like, Justin, just just the most humble guy. I mean, you can go talk to him about anything. He don't say too much, but, I mean, you can go talk to him about anything. And just for some uh, injury like that, like, uh, you just got – you know you can't say, like, he ain't deserve that, but, like, damn. I feel like he ain't deserve that. For anybody, like, why him? You know what I'm saying? Because he's so humble. He works so hard. He here early. He stay late. He take care of his body. Just everything. He embody what it mean to be a pro. Like, literally embodies what it mean to be a pro. And, just his story of where he came from and how far he came, like, I don't know, it just hurt me seeing that, you know? So for a guy that's so strong and, and like has such a presence, but doesn't really talk a lot in our room, but has such a, like a strong presence, it just, I don't know, it just, I don't know, I feel like he didn't deserve that. I, I just can't put it in any other word beside, bro. It just, just hurt my heart that, that an injury like that could happen. Yeah, uh, actually I was eating breakfast with him this morning and uh, like Zim, he just, he a strong guy now, like he like a 700 pound squatter, 400 pound, 400 plus bencher, 500, however much. So he a naturally strong guy. So just to see him just limping around, bro, like even when Zim get banged up in practice and games, like Zim just a, a naturally resilient guy. So just to see him limping around, bro, it kind of hurt me, you know, so. But he he mentally strong, he'll get through it and, and I'll be right there with him the whole way. Now that we're gone halfway through the season, how do you feel you've done so far this year, just big picture? I need some sack. Yeah. Hey, one they took it away, but other than that, I, I feel like I've been good. I feel like um, I've been excellent in the run just in the past. I just need to get the quarterback. Not not only hit the quarterback, I hit the quarterback. I need to hit him with, while he still got the ball in his hand. So it, 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 besides that, I feel like I've been doing good. Did Jerry hold up his end of get you dinner, or what happened there? I, I think – uh. I forgot what happened. I forgot. What, I think Jerry. I think Jerry allowed me to get a TFL or something, so he made up for it. He made up for. It. I think he set the edge, and I got a TFL in that game, so he made up for it. He might have took the sack away, but I got a TFL. That's good. So I were, I really wasn't tripping. So appreciate that, Jerry. Is it hard not to get frustrated? Like you want to get the sacks, you're so close, and to like right. not to get me that. What is that like? Yeah. No. How do you not let it affect you? Well, cause for one. Like, yo, yeah, you want the sad, but I go out there to really have fun. Like, I really enjoy being out there. So, regardless of, of what happened, I enjoy being out there. I enjoy making plays, whether it's a run game, pass game. If I set somebody up to make a play, things like that. So, I just enjoy being out there. So, I mean, in your head, it's about you, but it's more so about the team. Like, we just play team defense. I think that's why we so good, honestly. Play three seasons now with Tremaine, well, in your third season with Tremaine Edmonds. Right. You know, obviously dealing with hamstring injury, if he can't go, what do you guys miss? Because it seems like he, he does so much for you guys. Yeah, I mean, he does. He does. And, and like I say, he, it, it's hard to replace him. But like I say, we play team defense. A.J. Klein going to come in. He's going to do a great job. As always, when his name called, he's going to be there. And Tremaine, I mean, he's going to be there. He's going to be there. Like, in pre his presence still going to be there. So as long as I get the call, I, I trust A.J. Klein to uh, give me the call. And, and he'll handle his business. And when Tr Tremaine get back, it'll be like, nothing never happened. But. Hopefully there's no drop off, you know. I mean, I expect AJ Klein to come in and step right in and play. When you guys are looking at film as a room or as a defense, mm -hmm. and you and you see some of the plays that Tremaine makes throughout right. the season, I mean, is it you, you guys sometimes sit back and be like, dang? Yeah, yeah, like especially he been coming down here a whole lot better this year. You know what I'm saying? And him and Madden, they just been clicking. They been running, gunning, you know, doing their little thing. You know, from we've been doing our thing, so. It's, to, to have him out definitely go, gonna hurt us, but like I say, hopefully AJ Klein come in and it won't be too much of a drop off. And uh, when Jermaine come back, we'll be good to go. Hey, I know you 
You're doing a turkey drive next week. Why mm -hmm. do you think it's important to take the time to give back, whether it be with what you have or um, the time that you have to offer during a time like this? Well, uh, I'm doing it back home in my hometown of Marksville, Louisiana. So just just giving back to especially the community that, that had a, played a big part in raising me and raising the people who raised me, I just think it's, it's only right that I give back. And uh, I think I had done like a tour drive last year and things like that. So any time that I can give back, especially to that community, uh, I do it. it regardless, uh, I feel like they deserve it and, and they should get it out of me. Evaluation of how the defense has played as a whole now that we're midway through the season. Uh, uh, I feel like we, we handle adversity good. Uh, we answer the call every time. Uh, they sent us out there. Uh, I feel like we playing aggressive. Uh, been taking the ball away pretty frequently. Um, I think we were playing good team defense. Yep. He's not in your position group, but how much respect do you have for a player like Trey White, uh, who doesn't get targeted as much anymore because of the caliber type player right. he is, uh, but still goes to work and does extensive film study every week? Uh, that, that's funny you ask about that because after the game, sometimes Trey White, he'd be like so mad. Like, man, they ain't even throw the ball my, my way. I feel like I ain't even play. I'd be like, bro, just keep doing that. I don't want him to throw the ball, yo, you know what I'm saying? So, like, he be he be getting frustrated. You can kind of tell sometimes. But, hey, and my boy, he, he my ace, you know what I'm saying? You, he always going to take care of his business, always going to be where he need to be. So, if they don't throw the ball his way all year, I'd be happy. I don't care. So, he might not like it, but I don't care. Share that with him. You want a sack, he wants an INT. Right. Yeah, you know, he been so close. And I mean, like, I think he had two opportunities last week and he dropped him. So I know he was probably uh, aggravated with that. That's just like me getting to the quarterback right after he throw the ball. Like, that's aggravating. But just, just keep your head down, go to work every day. That's what we do. You know, one, take it one play at a time. We'll be all right.